In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite way to attack the cover four drop defense. I think that the cover four drop is going to be one of the better coverage calls in Madden 23 because of how good the inside quarter safeties play post routes and also how good the outside quarter safeties play corner routes. Now, I'm not talking about cover four match in this video. We're going to do a different video in the future on that, but we're really just trying to focus on the cover four drop defense that I think you're going to see a ton in online games, whether from the 3-4 odd or the dollar three two six or the nickel three three five normal. This is one of the better coverages, just a safe coverage. And we're going to show you how to attack it in this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, we're in the middle of a Madden 22 training camp series. And this series is devoted um, to teaching you the fundamentals of attacking different coverages, attacking different defenses. And then also we're going to be doing a version on defense that shows you the fundamentals to play really good defense and be able to have an effective defense and offense going into the Madden 23 season. So if you want to learn more about how to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and in this video we're in the new england patriots playbook and we're going to be talking about attacking the cover four drop uh play and we're going to use the pa slot corner it's probably my favorite zone beater in madden 23 and it's really good especially with a setup we're going to show you in today's video now, if you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, be sure to join my Patreon. For only ten dollars, you're going to get access to the full ebook over there. We also have about thirty other offensive and defensive ebooks available. By becoming a Patreon supporter, you get access to all of our ebooks, not just our Trips Tied In, but of course, you do get access to the Trips Tied In. So, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below, and uh, we actually have a ton of content that we're putting in there right now in preparation for Madden 23. Okay, so let's talk about cover four drop, why cover four drop is one of the better coverages of the game, especially for Madden 22. And the best way to illustrate this is actually to go to the play PA shot wheel. So if you watch this crossing route to Randall Cobb, it's one of the best routes in the game. And I'm just going to put a streak to Robert Tunyon, and all I'm going to do defensively is base line and press. Now, don't worry about the backside routes. Just want to focus on this crossing route and this streak interaction. And what you're going to notice is because Madden is based on a grid system and because the inside quarter is already devoted to defending that route right there, you're going to see that this outside quarter is going to do a really good job of basically baiting that crossing route. Um, now we're going to take it over here to the PA slot corner and show you another thing real quickly. And that is that, again, back to the grid system for just a second. If I don't have a vertical pull route, this corner route on the left will get bagged by this baseline. I actually played it fairly okay there, but still, just trust me, it's, it's pretty good, especially Madden 23. So when you think about cover four drop, I think one of the important things you got to ask is how will we attack a coverage that is drop eight with four underneath zones and four deep zones? Good question. One of these underneath, one of the things I think is really important to understand is one of these zones is going to be a user. Okay. One of these hook crawl defenders is going to be a user. And then secondly, um, another thing important to understand is that these deep quarter zones Really what we need to be able to do is essentially throw the ball in between the underneath coverage and the deep coverage. So if you see it, look at it this way right here, now it looks a little bit more manageable in terms of how we're going to attack the defense. So what I like to do out of the play PA slot corner is two different variations, but they both are really good. The first one is more of a motion snap. It's probably my favorite motion snap in the entire game. And all we're going to do is we're going to streak Randall Cobb. Now, again, I said that Madden is a grid system. Now, if I just streak Randall Cobb, I want you to notice something. Because of the grid system, you see that the quarter does not play that, uh, that route. And let me just jump into instant replay and show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see how this is a base aligned outside quarter, and he is out just outside the numbers well when this guy attacks the streak look where the inside quarter is you see how the inside quarter is over here so this inside quarter is not in the grid of the streak yet not until about in here will he become that in that grid like right in this area right here so you can actually very comfortably make this throw right here against this coverage 
because this outside quarter basically still has to take Randall Cobb. Now, let me show you uh, the ball. I'm going to move the ball over here to the, to the other side. And I just want you to see this from a different vantage point. So now I'm in a base align or I'm in a, a press, press situation. And I'm going to do the same route combination. And you're going to see this time that that outside quarter comes down on it a lot better. That is because of the fact that now if you look where the safety is at in relationship to this quarter, he is much closer to that streak. He's in that grid now. And so, as you can see here, this is a little bit more of a difficult throw. That time was actually able to get it because he didn't get jammed, um, which is another thing that we need to talk, at least think about. But anyways, now I want to come over here to the other side of the field and I want to show you essentially what if I streaked this guy. And this is just a little bit of an advanced motion, but I just want to show you something with this. So now my tight end is my clear out and I have my corner route, right? I just want to talk about the grid system just a little bit more here. What you'll see is this is actually going to be a really good um, defense for this route combination because that outside quarter doesn't get really pulled, as you can see. And, of course, the corner route's also not deep enough to beat a cloud. Uh, so you see how that works. So that is why one of my favorite ways to motion, if we're looking at this from a wide side variation, is this. To take Adams and move him over here. What this does for your offense is incredible. You notice that it brings that outside quarter inside. So now that outside quarter is in a grid with this guy right here. And the flat zone that's going to press is over Lazard. This is perfect for this concept because, as you can see now, this corner route doesn't have a chance at getting played. This is why it's one of my favorite ways to attack the cover four zone. Now, what we want to always be able to do is force a hard flat. So what I like to do, we have to force our opponent to play the way we want them to play. So we want them to have to respect our flats. So really simply, we're going to drag our tight end across the formation, and then we're going to put Devontae Adams on a smart routed in. You don't have to put him on a smart routed in. You could also put him on a comeback route. Um, but what I, the reason I like the smart routed in is it's a nice natural flow for the play. And what you'll see here is this corner route will never really ever, ever, ever get guarded by match coverage or by a cover for a drop coverage. Now, I want to revisit something else. So now I'm going to put cloud flats on the field to try to help with the corner route, if you will. And I want you to watch this route to Robert Tunyon. And what you'll notice with this route to Robert Tunyon is his drag will get underneath that right there. And I can throw that with a lot of ease. So I have a nice high-low read on this backside. And it's a, it's a different way of getting essentially to this. Whenever you're facing a cover four drop specifically, flooding the zone to the one side is really, really helpful. So if you wanted to, you could also do something like this. And what you'll see with this here is this is basically the same idea. There's no deep defender, right? In cover four defense, they don't have five underneath defenders to be able to stop a concept. And what I mean by five underneath is they don't, they can't play like a cover two where they have a cloud flat, they have a hard flat, and then they have a yellow zone right here. And then maybe the backside guy is on a deep middle third. This is kind of one of the better coverages that you can possibly create, in my opinion. So what we're able to do with something like this is force them into a coverage like this right here however the problem is back to kind of the meta if you will their user has to defend this corner route to levante david which is going to pull him out of the middle of the field which is now going to leave this backside dig wide open over the middle for easy reads so as you can see, this is a great way to break down 
the cover four drop defense, forcing the opponent to have to double Mabel the left side and also um, use vertical hooks to be able to slow down the drag routes. Uh, because another thing, another simple way to attack this, let's say, let me just give you an, uh, an example here. So let's say that they're playing this guy in a hard flat. And then they're going to take this guy and they're going to put him in like a curl flat. This is a really good way to run cover four. Now they have the hard flats on both sides and their user is in the middle of the field. And in theory, he's going to be the guy that's going to guard Devontae Adams on the dig. So this puts the offense in a little bit of a dilemma, but I want to just kind of illustrate this with a simple adjustment. Instead of putting the tight end on a drag, which is a real quick developing underneath route, we're going to put our tight end on a five yard in. And by putting him on a five yard in, the timing is going to be perfect. And you can easily throw that and get about 10 to 15 yards. So that's just kind of a little bit of a way that you can combat some of the chess match that you're going to face when you use this play. But this is by far my favorite zone beater in Madden 23. And I think that this concept, this core basic concept is going to be really, really important for the Madden 23 meta. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. You can get my full trips tight end, tight end ebook by joining the Patreon down below at the link in the description.